Okay, so Sprint sends me a S20 Ultra phone, as you can see here. And as you can see, I had to take a picture with my uh, other one because, like I said, so you could actually see the Ultra. And it didn't work for emergencies, it didn't work for 911. I paid a light. They kept asking me to wait on the towers. Um, they kept asking me... You know, they run all these tests, everything was fine, they kept wanting me to wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and that's what I did. I waited every single time for them, and, uh, you know, and in the end, uh, right now, I have a really bad phone, it won't work, and it's dropped about 20 calls a day, and it drops, where people are talking to me on the phone, I use it for work, I use it for business, but the um, S20 Ultra is a lemon and when I got it within three days I started complaining so and they've got a proof of that but they don't want to give me new one because they said it's past the 30 day mark now yet they asked me to wait because of the new T-Mobile towers and they asked me to wait because two towers in Quincy were down and so quite frankly you know what they don't want to remedy this situation well I hope people know that their phone is a lemon these things cost $1,400 a piece and uh, there is no reason why they could not have sent me a new one because it was their fault. Because, like I said, I've been calling since almost day one when I got the phone. They admit that. They acknowledge that they asked me to wait. And I was like, well, that, how does that count within my 30-day grace period? And they're like, sorry, you got you know, it's been past 30 days. So, here's the thing. These phones are lemons. Uh, they did not send me a new one. And I've been with them for over 12 years. And uh, Sprint did not is not helping.